Magnus the outdated doorstop needs to be replaced. To save the day, we have the Everbuilt Magnetic Doorstop. Picked it up at Home Depot. It was like $7 and some change. And it should take a few minutes to install. Let's get first the work. First first, we're gonna get our drill. Uh, we have a screwdriver bit, Phillips screwdriver, um, pencil, uh, some vice grips, and some drill bits. All right, we're gonna follow the directions right on the back of the package. You make it so easy that anybody can do it, but I'm gonna show you how quick and uh, easy it is to do. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the um, old door stop. Let's just screw this way, we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna unscrew this. Now, I'm gonna turn it, if I can get a good grip on it. Turn it to the left and pull it right out. Always remember, lefty Lucy, ready tidy. Unless it's reverse threads. Okay, so that part is good. On to the back of the door. The one on the back of the door, um, it is screwed in. Sorry, I keep putting my hands in the way. So we are going to unscrew this. Make sure the drill bit is set correctly to extract the screw. If I can get the drill in there, let's see. Easy, comes out. Spin this a little bit so you can get the. Uh, you know what? I need a different drill bit, and I don't have one. So let me see if I can spin it this way. All right, so that's done. Okay, so now we have two holes in the door. Uh, one of them is going to be exposed because of the size of the, um, I guess it's called the catch that goes on the um, door. Uh, so, I don't know what it's called. I'm just making that up. Um, so we're gonna utilize the bottom hole and then I'm gonna have to drill a pilot hole here. So we'll do that now. Here's the boring part, opening the package. All right, so in the package, we got some screws, we got some wall anchors if they're needed my circumstances are not going to be required all right so we have um this here has to come off it unscrews so i need to put something in here to unscrew it um i think this will work stick the screwdriver in and just unscrew it take a couple turns here then this is going to come apart So we have that apart. This is going to go on the wall. This is going to go on the door. So now I'm going to bring the camera over here. You can see that I have the one hole lining up here and I got to put a, um, I got to draw on the door. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put a couple turns on the screw because I want to make sure that I have a very good, uh, hole. So I'm going to slip this right over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to hold, I'm gonna hold this still and I'm going to put a pencil mark. I'm going to extract the screw from the door and I'm going to draw a pilot hole. I have a 332, uh, 3 32 bit on my drill make this pilot hole. So, gotta make sure you don't go too deep into the door. You gotta go deep enough. So, let's see. Did I go deep enough? Probably not. I think I need to do a little bit more. Normally, I would stick a piece of tape on it. But... All right, now let's switch out the bit and let's screw this plate in. Again, I think I'm gonna just start it with. I'm not going too far because I want to make sure I can. Enough. So let's, let's do everything right the first. 
first time. Okay, I'm just going to keep the thing on there. do it. Let's see. Does that grab this one? Sometimes power tools, we always want to use them because they're fast, but. this back together. I'm going to put the spring in. There's three pieces here. Spring, the metal cap, and then the, um, I don't know what I want to call these pieces. I'm just making up words. All right. So we're going to turn this, but you have to kind of, there we go. All right. Nice and tight and secure. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the screw here. I'm just going to use a screwdriver to do that. Take this apart. So then get to this plate, which is here. So you see how this goes on. This is going to go into the wall. This is going to screw right on. All right. So we cannot use that hole. It's not going to line up. So I'm going to cover it. All right. Um, but first, I have to open the door and line things up. So let's do. All right. It. To line things up, we are going to stick the door stop into the magnetic slot and I am going to push this against the wall. Make sure we're lined up as well as we can. Just want to make sure, now this is when you need the pencil. This is for the pencil part. Alright, so we are going to draw around the circle the best we can. All right, so now we see the uh, mark on the wall. All right, so you can see the mark on the wall. So we are going to put this plate in the center of this. So you see what I mean? I can't use that hole. So if I use the hole, it's not gonna work. So I could tell that by my eyes. That's why I said that earlier. All right, so we are gonna place this here. Then I'm gonna fill in the holes for the drill. Yep. Make sure you stay aligned. Three holes. Let's go ahead. So the packages is asking for a seven slash thirty-two inch pilot hole. Of course, I do not have a drill bit for that, so I am just going to improvise here, and I'm going to use seven slash sixty-four, and it should do it. Hopefully. Yep. Helps if the drill bit is in the drill. There we go. 
drill bit to the screw driver bit. All right, as you see, this is very quick to do. So, oh, let's see. I think I am going to use, I'm gonna use the screws I came with. I'm gonna use two of the screws I had, because why not? to loosen that so I can find the other hole. There we go. Bottom one is lined up, but I don't think I can... I don't have another screw, so we're going to use this one. Um, problem is I don't think my drill bit will go down there. Let's see. Upside down, maybe. Baseboard's white, but let's remove the pencil mark because no point in seeing the pencil mark there. All right, good. Let's put this back together. And pray we line up, which obviously we should. Time of truth right now. Does it work? Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Now, listen to that in the middle of the night. When you get up to go to the bathroom, you do not have to worry about that loud slamming doorstop. So, quick, easy fix $7 and a couple of cents change and uh, you know, I'll say under eight dollars and you got it good. All right, go out and buy your doorstops at Home Depot. Change them all out.